You know, uh, I'd always been one of the healthiest people I know. I ate the right foods, didn't smoke, went to the gym four or five times a week, and ran long distances, no problem. Not so much today, but back then. <laughs> But even with all these healthy living on the outside, my body had serious issues hiding on the inside. Excessive bleeding that my doctor thought was hormonal or perhaps related to a polyp turned out to be much more than that. After a dizzying amount of tests and scans and biopsies, I was stunned to learn that my then 32-year-old body was home to stage one uterine cancer and stage three ovarian cancer. So, what does a young, D.C. born and bred, otherwise healthy woman do with that news? Well, in my case, I made a firm declaration right then and there that cancer wasn't going to beat me, that I had to fight it with all my might. And as my stellar gynecologic oncologist, Dr. John Elkis, who I hope is here today, I think he's out there somewhere, will tell you that's exactly what I've done. And that's what I continue to do every day of my life and it's why I'm here with all of you today. During my illness, I had support from every corner of my world, especially my family. The hardest thing was telling my parents, as they're no strangers to cancer. In fact, I'm proud to say that in addition to many great friends who helped me during treatment and family members, including my grandma from Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania, I'm joined here this morning by my mom who's a 28-year cervical cancer survivor. So here I am, 35 years old, with a few less lady parts. I've had devastating realizations, like the fact that I've already reached menopause, and I will not have biological children. But I'm living, <laughs> I know it is okay, I know that now, <laughs> but I'm living my life and on behalf of 88,000 women who will battle a gynecologic cancer this year alone, I'm so proud to race with you today and to help women like me reach their own finish lines in the battle against cancer.